currently they're doing quantitative tightening. If they switch back to quantitative easing, easing that could send a signal to the markets that, um, you know, could result in crypto, crypto like meme coin type things rallying a lot. Just stocks, it could be, it could, it could, the the, the frothy parts of the market could rally a lot from that. And for those of us that don't know what quantitative easing means, not me, obviously, I know what it means. I'm going to let you explain, but obviously, I know what it means. Um, you, why don't you explain it if you know what it means? <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm going to let you. You're the, you're the expert. But for you know the audience that doesn't know what quantitative easing is, uh, you know. It's basically just the Fed printing money to buy bonds, which Got creates it. liquidity, r- creates liquidity and supports the bond market, which then... It you know it has an effect on rates too because you're buying bonds so that pushes rates down. Uh, but then it provides liquidity. Basically, the liquidity you know it goes to all of the other asset classes as well. Got it. Um, and also it's just gonna be, that would be a big shift in the dynamic because right now they're doing the opposite. They're right. selling bonds. Right. Uh, they're reducing their balance sheet. That's something to look for in the coming months. That could be a short term shift in. And kind of how these things are playing out. 